Hello YouTube, this is the Nerobin and today I want to talk about the fairness or rather lack thereof of character in character creation. Um, and I mean that character creation in any role playing game is um, per definition unfair. Um, I recently began to think about this um, because in my favorite uh, fantasy role playing game, The Dark Eye, there is um, a very strong emphasis on balancing different character types against one another at creation. With uh, It's a point by system and uh, you have a lot and lots uh, of different skills you can buy, uh, of different uh, uh, different cultures, uh, races, uh, professions, and everything has its point value. Um, and also advantages uh, and disadvantages and so on. And everything is, uh, is uh, calculated to a high degree. Um, to to seemingly seemingly generate um, fairness in character creation so that everyone starts equally and in principle this is an interesting idea and a very nice one um, but it's flawed in every which way um, I don't like the amount of different classes or classes is the wrong term but professions um, you have in the fourth edition um, also I think the fourth edition has way too much rules so I'm playing third edition um, which has a much smaller amount of these maybe for my taste even a bit too few so I started calculating uh, all the existing classes uh, through to find some semblance of coherent uh, point allocation and I didn't find any um, and it, it even seemed unfair in the extreme in some cases because there you only had one uh, one culture where you came from um, which mostly was also your race and uh, you if the race wasn't also your profession slash class at this point it was a class you had to choose one class so and then you had some points you could spend but um, the points you gained from choosing race uh, class and prof uh, race and class um, varied vastly. Um, so there was an inherent in unfairness and um, then I began to think about what this uh, actually is about um, and how the consequences in the real game are because just because the points you buy add up to the same value doesn't mean that the characters are equal um, not in the slightest because um, there's first there's the question how was the system designed was the system designed with realism in mind or with game balance if it was uh, designed with realism in mind then um, uh, an expertise in cooking which is in real life a profession one can take uh, decades to master has the same value uh, as uh, becoming a marksman and let's be honest even in the most unusual game cooking will never have the same value as marksmanship yet they cost the same points on the other hand if game balance is in mind um, then let's say you want to build a cook um, 
a very good example for this is World of Darkness, by the way. Um, when you try to create a soldier and a doctor, you will find that if you use the standard rules, you find very little amount of skills that are necessary for the doctor. Because you, the game itself doesn't go very much into detail about what being a doctor is, because, let's be honest, you won't need that much skills, because most of the players at the table won't have enough knowledge of medicine to know what is exactly going on in this particular case. And the illness slash injury isn't that good defined anyway. So, you let's say you have a bit of medicine, a bit of science, um, maybe a bit of bureaucracy, um, some some variety of, um, what's it, handwerk, um, uh, crafts uh, devoted to, uh, to, to operating, and maybe a bit of empathy for bedside manner. And there we have it. If you want to create a, uh, oh, and as for attributes, you probably need some, uh, some dexterity, uh, some intelligence, and some wits, and maybe some charisma, if you have a good side, bad side manners. If you play a soldier, on the other hand, you need strength, dexterity, endurance, um, you need uh, some charisma if you want to be an officer, you need um, perception, you need uh, uh, wits, and to some degree you need intelligence. Um, even though, nah, yeah, don't let's go, don't go into detail. Um, anyway, you need also a buttload of skills. You need alertness. You need um, athletics. Uh, you need uh, unarmed and armed combat. Uh, you need firearms. You need some technical skills. You probably need to drive. Uh, also, some medicine will be needed. Some first aid skills. Um, you need. Uh, you will have some law knowledge, which. Um, would um, portray your knowledge of the rank system and so on. Uh, and you also need uh, to stay hidden, um, so you will need stealth and so on. So you can blow so many points in all the skills you need to be a soldier and you don't have enough. <laughs> Even though World of Darkness characters, and I'm talking old World of Darkness, um, have so many points that they are uh, that any first or any char created character is has to be exceptional in his field, and you cannot create a soldier that has enough points so that in the fields that soldiers are good at, he has the um, the the um, skill level of three, which would be the skill level that you make a living with this skill. While as a doctor you have so many points you can spend on other parts of the game, because the game is done for balance, because in normal games combat is more important than uh, any knowledges. So you see, there is there's this inherent uh, unfairness. So uh, this is what I would call uh, the density of rules in the system. And then there is something that you can never ever uh, do something against, and that's the expectations of the player will not meet. The, um, the necessities of the plot that they will encounter later. They will put points where they think they might be good or where they think they might be realistic or something like that. It, whether the points that you bought yourself or choose or whatever have any bearing on the game is entirely dependent on the story that you're playing. 
or on your ability as a player to force the story in the way that your skills are laid out. If you have a very good communication in the group and have um, a more act, um, something that's more based around story weaving than about um, uh, um, working on problems then this is not so much a problem because a game master can adapt and lets lets uh, lets you find your own way in uh, the problem with your skill sets but of course there's always somewhere where it just stops making sense um, and then there is simply bad habit of the GM um, I for myself am guilty of uh, calling for way too many um, uh, alertness checks in World of Darkness games. It's by far the most important stat in games that I run. Um, since I've uh, acknowledged this, uh, I've tr I try to stop this, but it's just a kind of a reflex that I call out for an alertness check. Um, and this might be, be happening to others too. For example, maybe um, you have someone who plays a knight and he's put points into heraldry, but you see it well, he's the only character in the group who has heraldry and this is a uh, common enough... Uh, um, uh, I'm, I'm not sure how it's called. I just will just say flag. It's a common enough flag that he would know it, so you don't roll on, on the skill. So the skill, he has it and it's absolute but it doesn't get rolled and so there's both there it's a bit underwhelming to have it because you just tell him which if you don't go out the room um, just comes down to you tell the group which means he himself has no gain not gain nothing from it but the group uh, has it so basically he appointed points to the group not to himself um, if and uh, then on the other hand if you let this check just go and he just knows it and only tell him then you've kind of cheated the other players because when they want to sneak up to someone, they will probably have to roll. So, um, yeah, uh, what do you think? Do you think I've talked rubbish? Um, do you have other examples? Um, please, battle below. Um, also, if you want to make a video response at the beginning, is always a place for you. Thank you for watching.